Hello, my name is Nikolai Yusupov. Today I'm going to talk to you about uh, IV infusion pump, and in this case we're going to be using uh, MedSystem 3, which is being by Alaris uh, Care Fusion. And uh, I want to start off this presentation with really basic uh, pump setup. So here uh, we're just going to show you how to set up a basic uh, infusion pump, and then we're going to go into central lines and uh, vasopressing medications, and how to use more advanced stuff. So uh, when you come to the facility, the first thing you want to do is uh, when you make your patient contact and you do your physical exam and so forth, you want to take your uh, ACR or a continuation form and jot down all the infusion rates and all the uh, medications uh, uh, dosages. And you really want to be really clear and really specific on the name of the medication, uh, infusion rate, and uh, your uh, uh, dosage of the medication milligrams or micrograms. Uh, per kilogram per hour, per, uh, per kilogram per minute, and so forth. And you want to confirm all those drug uh, orders with the nurse or uh, better with the physician and get them signed, uh, have them sign the paper saying that those rates and uh, orders are all correct. So uh, once you have that all set up, uh, we're going to show you how to uh, basically start the uh, basic, basic infusion process. So if you arrive at the facility, uh, here we have uh, a normal saline, uh, this is just maintenance fluids, and uh, let's say the physician tells you, I want to continue infusion of maintenance fluids, normal saline, uh, at a rate of 100 mLs an hour. And I want to continue this for the duration of the transport until you arrive at the facility. So the way you will set it up is, imagine this is running on the hospital uh, uh, pump. So you have your Alaris uh, Med System 3 here. You're going to turn it on. Right. And um, uh, you could set it in general purpose 2 or 2, or if you have a, a neonatal, you're going to set neonatal. The, these settings all depend how many uh, cc's of air they facilitate uh, in, the, in the chamber uh, for the air sensor alarm. So in this case, we're going to keep it OR2, and we're gonna, we said that our infusion was 100 mLs an hour, and here you have 500 ml total in the back. So the way you'll set it up is you'll locate channel A, you'll uh, uh, see primary rate, you're going to set this at 100, so 100 mLs an hour, enter, right, we said volume remaining in the bag is 500 uh, cc's or 500 mLs, enter, and we did not infuse anything, so volume infused is zero, so clear, and enter. So now we're ready for administration or infusion, and the way you will do this is you will come, you will come uh, to the patient, you will disconnect the IV line, uh, you will take out the hospital's uh, uh, cassette, right? Then you will uh, take your half set uh, administration set. So this here is the uh, Care Fusion Alaris half set. And the reason it's a half set, it doesn't have the administration chamber here. So all you have is a cassette. Uh, so the way you're going to uh, do it is you're going to flush this whole line to remove any air uh, uh, bubbles that you may have. Uh, and ideally, even though you're in you're in the facility, you'll want to drip it on the floor, so get a bucket or some type of uh, uh, emesis basin or something like that. I like to, I don't like to unravel it. I like to keep it uh, like this in my hand, uh, so this way I could see all the bubbles, and it's much easier to control. So you will take this off, your connection, all right? It's a little relaxed system. You open up the administration set, and if you, if you look at it closely, you'll see the air bubbles uh, coming through the line. And you want to make sure, not just until it starts dripping, you want to make sure there's no air bubbles uh, in the line whatsoever. Right? So once this is only fully flushed, I take my cassette and I clamp it here. Right? I bring this to my pump. I place my cassette. I make sure it's flushed all the way in. And then I you push it in, right? So then you press channel A, and then you start infusion. So now it's running, right? You'll come to the patient, uh, you'll have this HEP lock, right? So imagine this is, a, uh, and it's telling me uh, check fluid side, right? So in this pump, you have to confirm it every time. We confirm and we start. So we confirm that nothing is uh, closed, so all my, uh, latches are all open so it's infusing so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take uh, the end of your uh, 
tubing here. So you could unravel it here. I'm not going to unravel it fully. So here, you're going to imagine this is the patient and this is his peripheral IV access that you just removed. You're going to clean it with alcohol or chlorhexidine, make sure it dries out, right? And once it's dried, you're going to connect them to your fluids. So now, uh, fluids are infusing. You're going to obviously check the site for any infiltration or uh, um, uh, any edema or anything like that. Uh, make sure your fluid is going nice and well. Another thing I do once I have this setup going like this, I like to label my cassette. So here I would write NS, and I know it's normal saline, right? Great, I could see that it's 100, but you could actually write in your rate. You could write in 100 here, ML. I, I write NS to just denote which uh, a medication or which fluid I'm infusing. And then after you have that done, I take a piece of tape, I put it on the distal end here, right? And I also uh, put NS here. And the reason why I do it distal end is when you have several uh, lines and multiple drugs going at the same time, uh, you really want to know which is which in case you want to administer another drug in here and you want to know the if it's compatible with this drug. Uh, you also know if some, if some line were to get uh, air sense alarm or some type of blockage, that you know exactly which line you need to troubleshoot. So if you have five, six lines going at the same time, none of them are labeled, none of the channels are labeled, you're really gonna be struggling and uh, trying to find which one is uh, working at the moment. So uh, label distal end, label your cassette. So um, the next one I'm gonna talk about is basically, uh, this was your basic setup. Uh, here, the uh, patient did not require to be uh, uh, time sensitive, meaning if they were off the pump of this fluid for uh, two minutes or a minute that it took it to flush, no deleterious effects would uh, occur. Uh, so things like uh, normal saline, maybe heparin, stuff like that uh, that are uh, infusing, uh, and if disconnected for a minute to flush your lines, there'd be no deleterious effects. But however, if you're infusing uh, vasopressing medications that are keeping a blood pressure at a certain level, and given the patient is so sick that the blood pressure at the moment in time is like 60 over 40 or the maps are really low your, your mean arterial pressure is in, in the 50s you really do not want to have two minutes of the pump so uh, they will crash this blood pressure immediately so now I want to show you how to basically set this up um, on a visa pressing medication <laughs> 